Hi there, and welcome to the third video of an introduction to cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be showing you how to use the file manager, how to import your own files, and how to use the code editor inside of cables. So let's get started. If I'm going to click on views, files, it's going to bring up the file manager. So let's go over here. So here are various textures. Um, that can be used inside the cables. They come bundled as a kind of default. We have some 3D models, we have some music, and we have some videos. So let's scroll to the top. So if I'm going to grab this texture now and pull it in and let go, cables are going to automatically create this texture up so I can just use it straight away. This is the same for all file types that are supported by cables. So if I go down here now and I want to get a 3D model, don't grab the original, uh, say for example, OBJ file. You need to grab the converted JSON file. I'm going to grab and pull that in. And now I have a 3D mesh that I can use. Same with audio. I'm going to pull on this track. It's going to add to the audio player. Videos, also the same. Pull that in and I get the video texture up. Nice, quick and easy. So we've got a couple of options here uh, where you can um, reload, you can upload a file. Uh, you can click this to create a file, like a text file inside of um, the file manager directly. So any files you've uploaded are here in patch files. The ones we've got here, they're library files. So if I click this now, I go to the detail view and then the icons disappear. And this can give you a little bit more of an overview on some things. So let's say I now want to import just a texture file. And this procedure is the same for everything that's supported by cables, audio or video. So I'm just going to do this. and I'm going to pull this over here. Okay. I'm just going to drag this in and this part appears. Drop files to upload. Let go. Gets uploaded, goes into the file manager. I can now click and drag and pull it in here. So a little warning here. This, um, this texture file is now um, associated with this patch. If I would now go over here and I would do save as and I'd make a new version of this file, let's say I do two or three versions, this will not be visible anymore. It gets referenced from this original file which is good because it saves server space. Um, but if you would go back into your original file and delete this, that would break the other patches that we're using it. So that's just a little thing I wanted to warn you about there. Let's go back to full screen. Uh, we can also filter here by type. So if we do .png, go to library files. As you can see, I'm only now going to see PNG files. So um, if I go over here to patch files and I click this now, you can see that I get all this useful information about the file, um, like uh, the resolution, the last change. I could click this to add an op um, into the patch, which will then display the texture. I can use resize to make it half the size. Let's convert it. Okay. Click it again. As we can see, it's now half its resolution. We can convert it to a JPEG and we can resize it to the next power of two, which is necessary for some texture operations. And you can just check around for more things over here. But right now, I just want to show you that you can click it and delete it and get rid of it. OK, so um, that's the basics of the file manager. Nice and easy. Importing is also really nice and easy. Now let's just say you want to open the editor. Um, I would want to look at the code for this op, that texture focus. You just click the op, press the E key, and here we get the editor. If I would want to clone this op and work um, on it by myself, I can then go over here. As we can see, it's got an attachment uh, file, which is like a text file. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to say clone op code. I'm going to type in delete me later because I need to get rid of this stuff once I'm done. Okay. Let me press enter. Ah, sorry, it has to be uppercase. It just told me about that. And I say create. Now you don't see the up yet, but I press escape. And I type in delete me later. As you can see, I now have a copy of this op right here. Pressing E again would allow me to go in there and then change the code. So that's the basics of the file manager, how to import your own files and how to get started with the code editor. We've got a lot of other tutorials uh, and playlists on this channel that you should just check out because they'll just take you in the direction that you need to go and teach you everything that you're looking for. I hope this video has been educational and informative. This has been the end of the introduction to cable series and I'll see you somewhere in the future. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.